Good morning, children. Today in maths, we will learn comparing and ordering angles. Let's start with the starter activity. Match the following. On one side, you will see a few angles. That is right angle, straight angle, complete angle, three right angles, and a right angle. And on the other side, what they measure. You have to match the angle with the correct measurement. Let's check. Straight angle measures 180 degrees. Complete angle measures 360 degrees. Three right angles measures 270 degrees. And a right angle measures 90 degrees. Let's revise. Right angle measures 90 degrees. A straight angle measures 180 degrees. And a complete angle measures 360 degrees. So our lesson objective is to compare and order angles. Introduction. An angle less than a right angle is called an acute angle. An angle greater than a right angle is called an obtuse angle. This is a right angle measuring 90 degrees. It's an acute angle that is less than a right angle. And this is an obtuse angle that is greater than a right angle. Acute angle. An angle less or smaller than a right angle is called an acute angle. Acute angle measures less than 90 degrees. We all know that right angle measures 90 degrees, but an acute angle is less than 90 degrees. Here are a few examples of acute angles measuring less than 90 degrees. Now, obtuse angle. An angle greater or larger than a right angle and smaller than a straight angle is called an obtuse angle. An obtuse angle measures more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Here, this is a right angle measuring 90 degrees. Here you can see an obtuse angle is measuring or greater than 90 degrees. And here are a few examples of an obtuse angle. Label each angle as acute, obtuse, or right. Now I'm going to display six different angles and you will guess each angle whether it's acute, obtuse, or right. Let's check. The first angle is an acute angle as it is less than a right angle. The second angle is an obtuse angle as it is more than or larger than a right angle. The third angle is a right angle. 
fourth is again a right angle fifth angle is an acute angle and the last one is an obtuse angle now we are going to study about reflex angle an angle larger than a straight angle and smaller than a complete angle is called a reflex angle a straight angle measures 180 degrees here you can see a complete angle measures 360 degrees and a reflex angle is larger than a straight angle that is 180 degrees but smaller than a complete angle these are the four different angles what we have learned a right angle acute angle obtuse angle and a reflex angle name these angles choose from the help box now look at these five angles and choose or label the correct one let's check first one is an acute angle second is a reflex angle third is an obtuse angle fourth straight angle and fifth is a right angle now ordering angles from least to greatest children always remember the smallest angle is an acute angle then comes the right angle then comes an obtuse angle after that a straight line or a straight angle which is 180 degrees then a reflex angle and lastly a complete angle measuring 360 degrees i want you all to remember this sequence carefully now order these angles from least to greatest again six different angles are displayed and i want you to label the correct angle from smallest to greatest first you need to arrange the smallest one and move towards the greatest angle let's check the smallest angle is e then comes b then a d f and lastly c let's summarize an angle less than a right angle is called an acute angle an angle greater than a right angle is called an obtuse angle an angle larger than a straight angle and smaller than a complete angle is called a reflex angle thank you children i want you all to revise the concept again by looking at the ppt